So the Dallas Heart Study was a study that we initiated in the year 2000. What was clear to me was that we were going to have the human genome sequence. What I thought would be self-limited or would be limited was not sequence, but rather uh, having a population which was very well characterized, which we knew a lot about each individual. And so we established in Dallas such a, po a population. We wanted it to be multi-ethnic, and it is. And that was so that we could capture the genetic variation in a larger number of individuals who had been subjected to different environmental stresses over their evolutionary history. So we didn't care where we found sequence variations. We wanted to find ones that contributed the, to the traits that were of interest to us. So essentially, we wanted to establish a human biology laboratory in our own backyard. At the time that we started, what was thought was that common diseases were due to common variations in the genome. And the prevailing view was that these, the best way to find sequences contributing to common diseases was to do this, what's referred to as GWAS, or Genome-Wide Association Studies. We f took a different tack and, and wondered if there were rare variants or low-frequency variations that contributed to common diseases. We found a sequence variation in a gene called PCSK9 that turned out to be uh, common in African Americans. One out of every 50 African Americans have a mutation that inactivates this protein. We showed it was associated with low plasma levels of LDL and low levels of heart disease. It's gratifying to see people, in this case, uh, to have patients that I've taken care of who ha I've tried to push uh, their statin uh, dosages to the highest range to lower their cholesterol and they get side effects. I can't get their cholesterol down. They go on and have additional heart attacks. And now they have been on these antibodies that uh, against this, uh, against PCSK9 and now have LDL levels that are, are very low without any side effects. That's incredibly gratifying.